Hey guys and welcome back. This is Witcher and today we're going to be continuing our Strength Mage playthrough. Haven't uh, been putting up much Dark Souls, but as it has been the most requested, um, Dark Souls is what I'm putting up. So this is the continuation of the playthrough. This is some older footage I got. So um, the people that are in this, like anime, etc. Uh, if you're probably screaming at the screen, you're like, why wasn't this up earlier? Well, it's because I just fortunately didn't get to it. Um, it's pretty early in the morning right now, looking 7.30. Um, so I will be doing this commentary. Hopefully it's not too slow because I'm tired and uncoordinated or some crap. But we just defeated Biggie Smalls, so now we're moving on to the New Londo Ruins. Which is a pretty easy area, especially with uh, getting help, which we did because um, I decided to do this playthrough with um, friends and uh, subscribers and random people because uh, A, it felt a little lonely, and B, I got some requests for people to be into the videos. So, we, I popped these souls here so we could get uh, whatever spells we might need for Four Kings. Not that we'll probably need the help, but uh, it's good to have. Um, we're still sticking with our Strength Mage hybrid. Not sure how high we'll go into Strength, but I'm sure it'll turn out just fine. Either way. And Homie Soul Mass, and what we got here? Great Heavy Soul Arrow, and then I guess... I don't even know, Hidden Body? Yeah. This will make it easier for running past enemies, uh, de-aggroing, etc., etc. Oh, and I almost went up to Framps. Oh, I can level up. Uh, but I didn't, question mark? Hmm, I'm trying to remember what we did here. Maybe we're going to... F oh, do we go to kill Sif first? I believe in this episode we actually kill two bosses. Yep, in this episode we kill two bosses. So this will be um, Sif and the Four Kings, I believe. Um, and this should have the people in it that I believe are anime boo in both of them. And then we had a random in the second one. I cannot remember your name right now, man, if you're subscribed to me. And I apologize for it, but this is some older footage I don't remember. But um, if you are subscribed to me, hit me up with a message and I will put your channel in the link below. Um, just so then that can be there, I guess. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to go kill the snakes. Now, the snakes are just a few easy souls here because I'm a little short. So that's why I'm doing this. Get them aggroed right here. They both seem to aggro right there. Um, even though you're not in line of sight of one, they seem to aggro there pretty well. At 36 strength, so we can uh, one-hand this bad boy. Get parried, motherfucker. And that tightened him up real quick. And that just pushes us over the 2k mark so we can enter the Dark Root Garden. So, um, forgive me if I feel a little slow in the commentary or anything. Um, haven't been playing Dark Souls in a while. Uh, specifically this playthrough. Um, this playthrough hasn't been played for longer than anything else. I think I am going to try and record a Loading Your Dice for Victory today. I don't know when that'll be up. Um, I'll probably record it. I know this video will be up later tonight. Um... I feel like I should do that loading for di your, your dice for victory, and then I will just um, either upload that tonight or tomorrow night. Tonight is uh, Friday, by the way. Friday the 8th. So, yeah. Um, just wanted to let you know about that. There will be more Dark Souls coming out. Hopefully some PvP here at some point. Um, I gotta make room for it. I don't... Uh, lately, because of, like, some real-life stuff, I haven't been able... To, like, I, ha I do play online, but it's... A, it's not always me. So if you see me online, it's not always me. And uh, B, the um, I just haven't had as much time to play. I only have like maybe an hour or two. And uh, because of the job that I have at this point, um, I have been trying to expand some of my game knowledge a little bit. Not that my game knowledge wasn't sufficient before, but just keeping up to date on new games and stuff. So that's an important part of it. Um anything else I can think of that that those are the main two reasons a I've been trying to expand my games because my job um, requires it well not really requires but it's optimal 
and B, I just don't have a whole lot of time, so like two hours in the burg doesn't really get you anywhere or in the township because sometimes it can take you half an hour just to connect to the peer-to-peer -peer servers and shit. So that's an issue there. And we are in the dark group forest and now we are going to summon our buddy anime or swankist, whatever you want to call him, man. How's it going, bro? And I think we get a summon right off the bat here, which really surprised me. I was like, what? Yeah, we got an instant summon. That's why I hopped like that. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe... No, I think I did that because... Um, usually I do that hop and then I cut it to wherever it happens. And then... Um, comes back. But we got an instant summon, so I didn't have to stop the footage and restart it, which was beautiful. And we got our Swankus rocking that uh, Gargoyle Halberd swag, which is like still one of my favorite Halberds in the game. I just love it. And watch out for that mage. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that uh, Being Guilty video I just did where the mage uh, nailed the dude for like 400 damage and then the thief backstabbed him and killed him. Precious. Just the best part of my day. Mage does like pretty good damage and then this fucking thief does a shit ton of damage. Get backstabbed, bro. Get backstabbed. Now we're heading up to Elvania. Come on. That partial. Get parried and got the repost. Pya. And I believe we're going, yep, we're going to go kill uh, Ferris and her bodyguard over here so we can get the souls that we deserve. And the uh, hat, because the hat is just sexy. Alright, where are my items? Give me my loot. Thank you. That drop rate on the Twin Humanity. I've actually had her drop three Twin Humanity one time. And it was like the second character I went through and I was so pumped because I didn't have the DLC. And I was like, two Twin Humanity, that's so fucking awesome. I was so pumped. So yeah, that was the thing. And we're off. I believe now we're headed down to these mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, fuck the stairs. I'm just going to jump over them. And I should have gotten the stone armor. I didn't get it. If I was soloing stuff, I probably would have gotten it. Because, um... Well, it's just useful for the Four Kings fight, the Gwyn fight. Just, just all the fights. That's pretty much how I should put it. But, um, since I will be having help with it, there's really no point. Because, uh, it's, it should be pretty easy, especially with help. And that fucking mushroom punch, holy shit. In fact, I'm going to put an annotation on the screen. And put one up, like, somewhere in near a mushroom. And, uh, you guys can go watch my video of where, um, I stood, or, I'm not going to ruin it for you, uh, where some invader gets his ass kicked by some mushrooms. So, or no, I kicked the host's ass with mushrooms. Anyways, you guys uh, should check that out. I'll put an annotation on the screen near one of the mushrooms. And uh, because we thought it might make the video a little more entertaining, instead of just running straight to the uh, boss fog like we could have, we were like, we should take up the Spirit of Vengeance. It'll make it more fun. Plus, he's a Spirit of Vengeance, which means he's blue, which means he's punishing for my si me for my sins. Even though the only sin I... I never invaded anyone, so why am I getting sins? I think it's because I decided to do an invasion, and then I invaded anime when we were playing. Or it might have been Ghost. I was either... I accidentally invaded anime or Ghost. And then I killed him. And then that probably counted. I don't know. I think he indicted me? I don't remember. It was just for funsies anyways. Hidden body, because I'm pro. Guy can't see me because I've got hidden body. No, I'm not even kidding. The guy can't see me because I'm... I'm a motherfucking ninja. Did I just see a twop go off? Yeah, I saw a twop go off. Tree mode activate. Or it could have been a guidance. I don't know. I couldn't see from this far away. I should probably blow up my viewing screen in my editing software. But that can like mess with frame rate, especially on this shittier computer. Hopefully I'll have my uh, computer up and running by Monday. And then videos will be so much easier to take care of. Anime tightens him up there with a parry into her post. And he's been, oh, so yeah, that must have been a Rathic, that must have been a Tranquil Walk. And I, as you can see, I did a ton of work there. Anime totally didn't carry me. I, like, did all the damage there. I, uh, like, reverse roll backstabbed him, and then I, like, 
parried him into like a chaos fireball great scythe running attack stun because I'm so good and you know what I was able to do all of that without without great chaos fireball without knowing how to reverse back roll or reverse backstab and without having a great scythe so that just proves you guys must have just missed that entire part and just saw the part where anime, anime was like just dicking around anyways <laughs> just kidding anime good job man and we're off to the bridge to Sif the great gray wolf and hopefully we can get that third ending because I feel like you know that third ending it's obviously the best ending um of course, it's the rarest one. I think it's the most enjoyable third ending. Um, so, guys, if you don't know what the third ending or the third uh, intro is to Sif, I would definitely recommend looking that up. Uh, it's uh, by Yukis Legion, and just look up the uh, the third and secret ending or uh, whatever to Sif. It's pretty hilarious. It's not even an ending; it's an intro, so that'd be more accurate than ending. And I'm running around here. I don't know why I gave it such a wide skirt. Actually, the aggro radius is right on top of the sword. So, yeah, but we grab that later for Gwyn. <laughs> that intellect. I get three orbs because my intellect is so incredibly shitty. And we got ourselves some homie soul masses for some damage on Sif. And we walk up. I think, yes, I think I am going to start showing, and I think I did start doing this, is showing the... Uh, actual cutscenes because ooh, who's a pretty doggy um, because this is a playthrough and it makes sense so then new players who happen to be playing this game can see the cutscenes oh get ready get ready to get reverse roll backstab by Sif because holy shit like she, reverse rolls she's so good at this she like beats like spades or reverse roll backstabs or anybody for that matter because like holy shit like let's see if she does one on anime <laughs> that that whiff oh Reverse roll backstab almost. Better watch out, anime. You're gonna get fucked up. Come on. Come on. Stop hopping like a bitch. And we get that sweep attack. Oh, my magic doesn't really do shit. Black Knight Halberd does way more. Reverse roll backstab. Woo! Oh, and then anime gets swatted. Come on, anime. Get away, get away, get away. I'll glug, glug, glug. By the way, I love the video where ENB just uses the phrase, I see you drink it, motherfucker. Now, I don't think I should start saying that because, A, well, it is beautiful and I would love to be able to say that, but it is ENB's uh, saying. And I feel like I would get shit from people that'd be like, you stole that from ENB, you're a giant douchebag, or like you're a fanboy or some shit. I don't know. Don't even ask me what people think these days because I cannot tell you because motherfuckers be crazy. Why didn't I homeward bone out? This is so... Do I homeward bone out? I have enough air. Oh, I was checking arrows for Ingward, I believe, there. And then I was going to homeward out. Alright, sweet. Um, I had a comment on one of my videos earlier about um, if I will be doing Dark Souls 2. Yes, there will be Dark Souls 2 coverage. Um, day 1 coverage, hopefully I will be able to get that out to you the same day that the game launches. I do have it pre-ordered and everything. So that's all good. Um, that shouldn't be an issue. We, w I will definitely be playing this game. This channel has expanded to like Skyrim and probably to other RPGs, but it doesn't mean I'm leaving Dark Souls behind. It doesn't mean I still don't love the Dark Souls franchise. It's still one of my favorites. It still has the most in-depth lore. It's got the best in-game mechanics. It's still just even even the parts. Or it drives me crazy and I get mad and I get like lag backstab and shit. I love that because it's part of the game and it's just something that I have to accept. And I don't know. I've just come to love that part of the game even though it's kind of a pain in the ass. Which all of you know who have played this game. And if you haven't played this game yet um, or if you're following my playthrough, well, then you'll realize soon enough. Especially, probably as soon as you hit the Berg or uh, Anna Orlando for that matter. Because those are pretty popular invasion sites. And now we're going to take a jaunty little stroll down to the new Londo and go take out the Four Kings. And I almost ran straight off the elevator, which I've done before. One time I ran straight off the elevator and then I tried to run back on it and I fell and I died. And I felt like such an idiot. 
And I don't know. Was I I feel like I was checking something because maybe someone needed something from me. I don't even remember. I I don't remember. Please everyone forgive me. Don't get mad at me. I don't remember because I haven't played this in so long and you're like, well it's your own damn fault for not playing the game. You're just bad at this and we all hate you on subscribe and stuff. Please don't unsubscribe. And you haven't subscribed and you made it this far. I, I'm so proud of you and I just hope you decide to subscribe because that would be awesome and it helps me out. Even though I'm not some big shot YouTuber who does first roll backstabs and I don't do words and stuff because, you know, words. As you can tell, I'm very good with English. Um, I'm very eloquent. Uh, I'm, I pride myself with my English skills and uh, I will continue to bring my English skills to you guys. And we got to get our transient curses all set up. So here comes the section where we'll actually be going through here by ourselves. Because you cannot summon people until the water level is lowered. So we are using some transient curses. And we're just going to try and move as quickly as possible through here. And uh, just get to inward. Uh, knock that water level down and then summon someone. And I believe I die. If I remember correctly, I die. So I like have to go and like get my souls a couple times or something. I don't even remember. I just remember having difficulty with this area for some reason. Like right at the end, like it went really smooth and then it all went to shit at one point. I don't even remember specifically why. It's getting all these ghosts. I probably could have just run past them, but you know what? I don't want them following me. And there's and they're worth a nice chunk of souls. And looks like they're dropping me some transient curses in case I need any more. That's the one thing. If you guys are ever worried about getting transient curses and you're here, wow, that loot just disappeared. Just don't even, like, think twice because they're going to drop them. Like, you don't even need one humanity and they'll drop them. But I have three. Wow, that frame rate drop right there. I feel like the places my Xbox has the most difficulty with are New Londo, um, Blight Town. That's pretty much it. New Londo and Blight Town. Those are like the main areas. Maybe parts of the Demon Ruins. Like with the lava and shit. I don't even... Yeah. Those are the main parts. And I guess we'll just change our mind and run around the corner here and get this uh, loose over here. Oh my god, it's a banshee. She screamed. Everybody run. I know I'm corny and I'm stupid, but you know what? You're watching this video, so what does that mean? It makes you an awesome subscriber and a great person. That's what it makes you. Also, you're probably better at this game than me. Or you're worse at this game. Or maybe you just don't want, want to be modest and you're like, No, Witcher, you're obviously better than me at this. And, like, you would totally own me considering you haven't played in, like, four months. Because you just have, like, natural skill and cunning and beauty, obviously. You know what? I am a beautiful individual. On the weekends, part time, when I'm feeling like it, you know. And here you can use the bow to aim your sorceries, which is really useful. Please don't hit the fence. Please don't hit the fence. It hit the fucking wall. <clears throat> I forgot that there's like some art. There's more arch to this. I I'm pretty sure I screwed up this time too. What? What the fuck? Inward like. Jesus, that that roll skill. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, come on, one. Oh, no, he's dead. I thought it would have to be one more. That's awesome. And if you've noticed in some of these playthroughs, if you ever notice me just, like, looking for shit randomly, um, it doesn't seem to have a purpose. Sometimes it's because anime's talking to me and I need to look for something or we're just talking. Ah. Oh. I think I'm trying to fast roll here. Right? Do I die here? I better not die here. Alright guys, you get to see. Moment of truth! Leap of faith, motherfucker! Yeah, we made it. You know what? That's just innate skill. And I think we're fat rolling right now. Because you know what? We're boss. We don't even need to fast roll. Even though fast rolling is the preferred method for all shapes of chocolate and coffee and words you know because I use words and I'm good with them and let's move on wow apparently in just like windows that are unable to be walked through 
God, that coding, that coding. One of the things I was really disappointed about is when I watched the stuff that was cut from Dark Souls, they apparently cut a boss hit from here, and he looked like an awesome motherfucker. Like, that would have made this zone, like, so much less boring and linear. Like, if they would have just, like, made another boss here, like, mind-fucking-blown. It would have been awesome. Like, holy shit, that would have been cool. Like, I don't know. I think it would just make the level more funner. Yep, I just used the uh, phrase more funner. So you guys can bring that all to your friends and be like, wow, he used the phrase more funner. What a total jerk. More funner. I, I know because I'm good with English. And we're going up here for the composite bow. I'm mainly just showing people where the composite bow is because some people don't know where it is. Not that I really need it ever. It is a really great bow though because it's got the shortest draw length of any of the bows. It's got pretty high damage. Pretty sure if you have enough decks, the longbow or the ferris bow will actually outclass it as far as damage, especially with scaling. But um, most of the time I use it, it's usually either magic, enchanted, or chaos, so no biggie, no biggie. I thought about submitting for the Sunlight Blade weeks, weekly top 10 the last few times, you know, but like, every time... I submit, like, I, I did get into it one week, I was very lucky, but I feel like he doesn't watch them all, and he, sometimes I feel like he, like, the, uh, selections are a little prejudiced, but that's just my two cents, I don't know, it could be totally wrong, and I just got fucking co 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 combo breaker, motherfucker, Dark Wraith OP. I don't know, uh, sorry, I totally just, like, fucking went off on a tangent. Anyways, um, I don't know, I feel like there's definitely a little bit of, uh, favoritism or prejudice in those, just based on what I've seen. Um, I understand that, uh, it is about the best of the best, but I feel like when the best of the best is the only person who's up there, there are some smaller people up there. Um, really, I think, in my opinion, uh, like, if I had to say so, and I hope Sunlight Blade watches this, I don't know, it might be useful, I don't think he will, but anyways, the, uh, like, I don't know, he, he probably will never see this, but anyways, like, I don't think, like, I used to talk to Sunlight Blade, like, I, uh, actually designed his, uh, his icon for him, I designed the template, uh, awesome template with him, and, like, I had it all figured out, and, like, I was gonna give it to him, and it was gonna be for him and stuff but then he uh when he upgraded his account it uh got rid of it so then he uh just didn't really have one for a while and then someone made him one and we chatted a bunch he he was really excited really exuberant we had a lot of good conversations together i had fun with him we went back and forth um seemed like a really cool guy and uh but i feel like i do understand where he is going with the uh top 10 and what he's doing with that but at the same time I feel like with the size of his channel and the scope of uh, people he gets and the uh, the upheaval of positive support he's received, that he could do a lot with it, a lot better things with it. Like, um, even if he doesn't use that series for promoting smaller channels, I feel like as a bigger channel, it's part part of your responsibility is to help promote smaller channels, help the little guys get bigger. Like, because it is tough. It's tough for me. I know I haven't been uploading recently so it's probably not great for me but um i feel like i'd like to get bigger because i feel like i have good content and i'd love to bring it to the world but i feel like sunlight blade and plot not just me tons of other people have great content and they're doing a great job but i feel like sunlight blade could really do something better he could do um he could help the community out and beginner youtubers by helping them out giving them spotlights um liking their videos maybe doing compilations with them and we're here with swankus Worf and Twine Basilisk. Uh, sorry, Twine, I forgot about you for a second, but uh, you're in this, and uh, just uh, send me a message if you watch this video, and I'll put your channel in the description. But uh, I digress. Um, you know, I just see I see bigger channels in Dark Souls uh, that, and I'm not being prejudiced, and I'm not going to say any names. Like, I, well, it is a little prejudiced because it's just personal opinion, which you can't really help. But uh, there are some. YouTube channels, not to be named, that have a lot of subscribers, or or a large following, or like something, 
and they put out a lot of content or even a moderate amount of content or very little but yet I they're not very entertaining to watch like either they're not funny or maybe they have so much skill that they just don't really have any emotion so they just kind of uh, have kind of boring videos but um there are some channels like that I've noticed and they will have like a thousand subscribers or 1500 subscribers or 3k subscribers and then there will be the little guys um, like me or other people who have quality content I, I, they might be really funny even if they're not good at the game they might not be funny at all but they uh, have good content they have good discussions and thoughts um, yet these guys will only have I don't know a hundred subscribers or 46 like me but because 46 is my magic number I guess um, and I feel like those guys don't really get a chance to shine. Occasionally they do, that they get a comp with another uh, Dark Souls YouTuber. But that is one of the discussions that I like to have about it. And I don't know. This was just a brief uh, little discussion about that because um, not many people will get this far in my uh, video. Only my dedicated subscribers, so this is mainly to you or anyone you may share with it and let them know about this part. Eventually I'd like to do a video out on actually... Um, the issues I see behind that and my ideas and speculations on that if you guys are interested in that. Otherwise, you might not be interested because you might just think I'm bitching and crying. Uh, anyways, I digress. Um, I should probably talk about the gameplay. Alright. So now we're finally at the Four Kings. We've got our ring-a-ding-a-ding-ding -ding all set up and we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get everyone inside. And I'm going to walk to the bottom because I'm a superstitious mofo that feels like he's going to die. Hey, it looks like, who's following me? Is that, no, they're both following me. They're being good guys. Woo! Don't show me off. So I've had issues where I'll walk off, and this is sometimes, like, I'll accidentally hit a ledge, and I'll feel like such a dork because I just fucking died. I don't know. And I didn't go to get my souls because I think I said screw that because it wasn't worth it. It was three humanity and some souls. And Punisher, I go to high school with that guy. He's a, he's a, I'm not even going to explain it. Yep, not even, nothing. I've got nothing to say about that. <laughs> Anyways. It's time for the fourth king's boss fight, which we're going to take care of here. And wow, that looks fucking awesome. Soul masses are just plummeting towards the ground like in a magical nimbus of magic and they're like meteors and shit. I don't even know. I'm not... I do not pride myself all the time on my English skills, because I'm not as good with those. And we got some pine resin coming out. Watch out. And we're, oh, I don't have the strength. What? Oh, it requires more strength. That's weird. You'd think I'd have the strength. Strange. Uh, that was really weird. I just muted my mic because I had a burp, and like, you ever had those burps where it's like, it tastes like your breakfast? I had like sausage and eggs and coffee, so it was a really weird burp. I'm sorry, I totally get distracted. That's probably why no one watches my videos and I don't have any subscribers, because I get distracted so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, uh, that's a four king down. I don't think, well, we'll probably get, we might get four kings, we might get uh, less. Was that our first king? That was probably our first king, so we're actually doing pretty solid. We're doing solid here. And I'm casting some magic. I'm using my range support here. I got my two melee. My two melee. I got uh, Twine B in our tank. So we got our uh, melee DPS uh, starring Anime Wu, our tank starring uh, Basilisk. Looks like we got some counter damage going there. So I think we're going to get three kings. Hopefully. That would be pretty sexy because then I could be like, yeah, I got three kings. Because, um, yeah, words. I've got to remember to put that annotation in. Like, I really have to remember. I gotta be like, Witcher, put that annotation in about the mushrooms. I don't know. And eventually I will like to do that discussion video if any of you subscribers or friends that I have. I like to think of all my subscribers as friends, but I have some specific ones I'm talking to right now. If you'd be interested in that, or or if you just don't want to even like have me say anything about it because you think I'm bitching and moaning, let me know either in the comments or in a personal message. Um, I don't know, it's just an idea of a video I've been thinking for a while. And I probably shouldn't have said it in this video because I'm sure someone will steal it from me now and make their own video of it. But, you know, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> 46 of you guys, uh, probably not all of you will watch it to this point. I'm sure there's at least two of you that will, if not more. And I really respect the people who watch it to the end because it helps me out. Um, 
and also you miss some great stuff because um like all the people who don't watch it to the end they miss some of the best stuff because of the fact that uh in the beginning it's i'm i'm usually not as warmed up i don't talk about as much of things so it's usually a little more rigid and if you guys watch my videos you know it usually loosens up at the end we start to chill we start to talk a little more we used to we kind of have little discussions etc and yeah you know etc at some point i would like to stream too um it's more just finding time and we're joining the dark wraith here by the way in case uh, anyone is wondering who's watching this as a guide um you can either talk to Frampt and you cannot become a dark wraith or you can uh, talk to kaith and give him the Lord Vessel, and then you can become a Dark Wraith, which is what we're doing in this playthrough. But, uh, yeah, that's what I was going for anyways. That Yeah, it's a little disappointing people who don't go to it because they do miss some good stuff. And I can't believe I skipped that. I felt like such a dork in anime. It's like, doing a playthrough, bro. Why'd you skip that? Um, yeah. You know. Well, there might be three of you, actually. Now that I think about it, there's probably three people who actually watch my videos all the way through, but I don't know. I don't know. And I thank you guys for my likes. I've noticed I've been getting likes on my videos. That, uh, and that really makes me feel great that um, I get likes. It helps me out. Um, I really don't have a whole lot of viewers, but uh, hopefully that'll be remedied at some point. Um, what was I talking about? Streaming? Yeah, streaming. So at some point, I do want to start streaming. That is one of my goals. Maybe this summer or during spring break or this winter break. I don't know. It's just when I have time when I'm available, when I'm not disturbing other people, like, I would like to do it, I've got the software, I've got the Xbox, I've got everything, um, it'll especially be made simpler if I get a PS4 for, uh, newer games, so then I can just have the Xbox One for Dex Dark Souls pretty much exclusively, because that's, like, the only thing I'll play on it, you know, um, I'm thinking about picking up Netflix here soon, too, I don't know, or popping some humanity here, so this actually probably would have been a better discussion point because I needed to pop all those humanities, which takes for fucking ever. So now we're gonna feed all this humanity to Kath, and he goes, Yum, 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 yum. You ready? Ready? Offer humanity? Yum, 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 yum. That would be the best Dark Souls mod ever. Every time you feed Kath the uh, humanity, he goes, Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I know. Don't even. Like that, and I always wonder what those things are. Those things, tentacles, or his ears, or nose piercings. Or... What are those things that confuse me so much? The anatomy of this dude just confuses me, and his gums are like exposed, and I just am totally just off on a tangent. And you guys are probably like, don't even listen to me. Uh, uh, I should probably change where that lettering is. Like, didn't I? I don't know, this is old footage, so the lettering won't be changed, but in all of my new videos coming up, I'm going to change where the Witcher Gaming HD is to, like, the bottom, because, um, they have, like, these, like, icons that you put up, and then, like, it appears in your video and shit, so really, the lettering isn't necessary at the top right corner anymore. I'll actually just probably move that in this video as I'm speaking. Anyways, guys, um, getting near the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and hope you guys subscribe and like my videos and stick with me and comment and have a discussion with me, um, I don't know. Uh, I really hope you guys have been enjoying my playthrough, because I enjoy doing them for you, even if you guys uh, might think I don't. Anyways, please rate. Hey guys, this is Witcher. Remember to hit that subscribe button right in the middle of the screen, and because YouTube is a little funny, remember to hit the like button and the follow on the Twitter in the description below. I've got both. Please go do that for me. Peace.